Hello everyone, this is Tara Queen Jamila. I am here to do the April 2016 Green Moon Money Reading for the Sagittarius. Um, we're going to be looking at the financial situation, <clears throat> okay, and what you can expect to manifest out of the Green Moon. Okay, so this is your card. Uh, we're going to see your current financial situation. Will money be coming into the Sagittarius's life very soon? Money opportunities that the Sagittarius may wish to consider closely. Who or what project will bring in the more money and outcomes? So it's a quick five card spread, y'all. Okay, so Sagittarius, your first card that you got is that it looks like you are making a lot of wishes. You're using this energy of this genie. It looks like you are definitely manifesting with this Nine of Cups. This is a very good, happy card. So this is pretty good. Okay. Um, card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon? And the answer is yes. This is a literal person in your life. Um, this is a father figure, someone that you look up to. Um, it could be, it could stand for you. Um, this person is very stable financially, able to hold on to money, um, able to manifest money in security. So the answer is yes with this card. The third card is... Um, Money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the Two of Swords. So this is pretty interesting. You may want to consider, I'd say for this one, it's going to be um, whatever it is that makes you happy. Whatever it is that helps you achieve balance. This can also be a crossroads. This is a really good card, actually, to get in this position. It's really... Um, to me, it denotes a positive thing because it's it's the two, which is balanced, and this is really a good thing. It's about partnership. So there's some sort of partnership opportunity that you have, and it's definitely going to pay off. But you still need to be cautious. You need to be, you know, frugal, okay? Don't just spend it all. You want to put some of it away. But it's definitely coming, and it's definitely going to be some sort of project or collaboration um, where you're going to be working with someone else. Um, who or what project will bring in more money, and you got the devil? So this is a project where you're going to be in control of, and you just want to make sure that you have control over the project. You know, you're kind of like the producer, the editor. So this is all about control. You just want to make sure that you're not trapped in an unhealthy situation, Sagittarius. Just make sure that you pay attention to that. Because the devil card can indicate some sort of domination over you. So just don't get involved with somebody that's going to have that over you. You want to be the one that's in control. Because that's the way you're going to be the most happy. Because otherwise it's going to suffer. Um, there's a lot of different card, different things I can see with this card, but I'm just going to leave it at that because it's such a broad card. You know, um, some of you Sagittariuses might be helping people with addiction problems or people that have trouble moving forward. So that's going to be your bread and butter. Okay. Your final outcome is the three of swords. So this means that there's going to be some things in your personal life. Um, I can see that it was probably based upon some sort of love triangulation. 
Um, that energy is not going to make you happy this month because I get the sense that this person um, is going to, you know, maybe put some energy on you because the rest of the cards are really, really, really positive. Money's coming. You're manifesting. And then you got the two, but then you get the devil and the three of swords. So I want to let you know to be careful of this devil card. This is indicative of someone possibly using some sort of black magic for the devil to show up. Okay, so you just want to be careful with that. Um, again, it's not going to resonate with all of you Sagittarius. This is a general reading. But I do see some sort of loss or pain, but more so emotional or, you know, intellectual. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't really see this as being... Um, any, anything bad I guess it could be some sort of you know work collaboration that's not making you happy this can also mean that some of you Sagittarians you know may you know might have a slight reduction in your ego it looks you know with this card as far as with work because we're not looking at love we're looking at work now with finances um, this card doesn't have to be disappointing it's just saying you know, whatever it is that you need to do, do it and take it one step at a time. If it gets overwhelming, then don't be afraid to ask others for help because by allowing others to give to you, you are giving them a blessing as well because there are people out there that give just so that they can receive. So this is showing that you know, there's going to be some major events the last half of, of April for you, Sagittarians dealing with money. Um, it means that you want to just allow people to, you know, um, give to you. And and when you, when you allow it, it means that you... Um, I would say that that as far as with the intellect or the perception is what they're talking about because it is the swords and this is about perception and you know um, per, oh, what's the other word I was looking for but it's 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 really about you know with the Sagittarius personality let's put it like that you know this is an air sign also be careful for someone that's an air sign. Because this person is going to possibly try to cause you some issues. So it's a good thing that this card came up so that you can watch this person. Okay? Um, Sagittarius, if you need a more in-depth personal reading, contact me on my website. You can set up an appointment the same day. Um, I wish you happiness, good luck, ab abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Uh, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye.